Goldman Sachs cashed in big time on the flurry of M&A deals and capital markets activity that's sweeping Wall Street. The investment bank reported Friday that its quarterly net earnings skyrocketed 60 percent, crushing analyst estimates as its revenue jumped by over a fourth. Pumping up those profits, a surge in lucrative advisory fees stemming from the record wave of deals. Goldman gets a third of its revenue from its investment banking business, and revenue in that unit nearly doubled, making it its second best quarter ever. Refinitive data show Goldman is comfortably number one in global M&A advisory. The company's biggest revenue generating unit, Global Markets, also did well. Trading rose 26 percent, reflecting strong performance in equities. Shares of Goldman rose in early trading Friday. Goldman's robust results caps a banner quarter for the U.S.'s biggest banks, which saw profits jump amid a surge in deal-making and the release of reserves set aside for bad loans. U.S. retail sales surprisingly rose in September as consumers seemed to keep spending despite product shortages and higher prices. Sales were up 0.7 percent last month, according to data released Friday by the Commerce Department. The biggest gains were seen for sporting goods and hobbies and general merchandise. Sales at gas stations were also strong, but that's due to the spike in gasoline prices. A key measure of the retail sales report that corresponds most closely to the consumer spending component of the quarterly GDP number was up last month as well. That's a positive for the economy since consumer spending is responsible for nearly two-thirds of all economic activity. On the downside, health and personal care spending, sales of electronics and appliances were also down last month, pointing to much talked about production delays and supply shortages. There are fears that supply constraints could disrupt the holiday shopping season by making products harder to find, then sticker shock when consumers get to the front of the checkout line. The United States will lift COVID-19 travel restrictions for fully vaccinated foreign nationals effective November 8th, ending historic restrictions that, for more than a year, had barred much of the world from entering the country. That's according to the White House Friday, which said non-U.S. air travelers will need to show proof of vaccination before boarding a flight and will need to show proof of a recent negative COVID-19 test. Visitors crossing a land border will not need to show agents a negative test result. The U.S. has lagged many other countries in lifting such restrictions, but now tens of thousands of foreign nationals with relatives or business links in the U.S. will be able to visit again, as long as they're vaccinated. Allies welcomed the move. The White House announcement came just days after it said it would lift restrictions at its land borders and ferry crossings with Canada and Mexico for vaccinated people in early November. There are still some questions on the new policy for foreign nationals, including how and what exemptions the Biden administration will grant to the vaccine requirements.